Boneyard Safari fans, this is Coach Warren, and we're here with Dave in his biplane here. He's going to tell us a little about, about his background and how he got started in racing. Hi, I'm, I'm Dave Holmgren. I'm a retired Air Force uh, pilot. Uh, before that, I flew in the U.S. Marine Corps, flew Broncos in the Marines, flying for an airline when I'm, when I'm not racing or getting ready to race. Uh, civilian background, flew jumpers, flight instructed, went in the Marines, flew T-28s, T-2s, A-4s, and then the, uh, the mighty OV-10. Uh, in the Air Guard, I flew some other stuff, uh, an EC-130 variant, some special ops things, and uh, retired in 2011. Been racing since 2014. Uh, I started racing... I was going to bring my uh, my Thorpe T18 out here and be the slow guy in sport class back when you could get on a course with a with a Thorpe or an RV. Uh, and uh, getting ready to go to PRS, and a buddy of mine asked, "Huh, you going to PRS? You want to race my Cassett?" <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I do. Uh, so I raced last lap player, race 15. You may see that airplane later on uh, for a couple of years. Raced it here in Tunisia in Spain and back at Reno. Uh, then I was asked if I wanted to fly Aero Magic, uh, race number six. And in 2017, I was able to take the, uh, the, the silver trophy in Formula One with that. I'm back here this year uh, in my airplane, an Ultimate 10-200. Uh, and biplanes are a gas. They're just, they're just a incredible, uh, you know how responsive they are. They're a little tougher on the race course because you're sort of blind a few times with this extra wing up above your head. Uh, and you're jockeying your head around from side to side to keep track of the pylons and the guy you're trying to pass. It's it's a different challenge in Formula One. And it doesn't matter if you're not going 400 miles an hour. If you're out there on the course at 50 feet, you're racing. That sounds cool. So how do you get uh, ready for a race there, Dave? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, uh, I do push-ups. That's that's kind of my uh, get my get my body pumped, get my mind focused. Uh, okay, I'm a former Marine. It's his small brain, large feet, something like that. Uh, I do push-ups, and I used to do it as just sort of a superstition when I was flying combat missions. Uh, but a couple of years ago, there was a 22 push-ups for 22 days challenge to raise awareness. Uh, of the problem of veteran suicide, because we lose 22 vets a day to suicide, taking their own lives. Um, it's it's a national problem, and we need to raise awareness of it. And uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to show you uh, okay. what, what I do to get ready to race. 22 push-ups, 22 vets a day we lose. What a fantastic uh, person here. Thank you very much. That's a wrap.